How does my child catch measles, mumps or rubella? So measles, mumps and rubella are all spread through coughs and sneezes and they're highly infectious so you can even catch them from being in the same room as someone who's infected. Who can have the MMR vaccine and when should they have it? The MMR vaccine is available as a two-dose vaccine. So the first dose is given to children at one year and then they receive a second dose at three years and four months. Does the MMR vaccine cause autism? In short, there is no evidence that vaccination using the MMR vaccine causes autism. And this has been investigated by many different independent studies. Why does my child need multiple doses of a vaccine? Booster doses are really important to ensure that the protection provided by the primary vaccination is maintained over a long period of time. Is it better for my child to get the disease naturally? Absolutely not. So infectious diseases can cause very serious illness and potentially long-lasting health problems. Some, such as measles, are even fatal. Allowing your child to get the disease would not only put them at risk, but also risk spreading the disease to others, which is something that a vaccine can prevent. Will having multiple vaccines at the same time overload my child's immune system? Not at all. The amount of bacteria or virus in a vaccine is really tiny compared to all of the germs that we're exposed to every day. In fact, only a relatively minor proportion of our immune system is activated by vaccines, so it has more than enough capacity to deal with multiple vaccinations at the same time. Is there a situation when a child shouldn't be vaccinated? If a child is unwell with a fever, then vaccination will usually be postponed until they are better. Otherwise, it's very rare that a child is unable to be vaccinated. Only children with a weaker immune system, caused by a medical treatment such as chemotherapy, an allergy to the vaccine or its components, or certain medical conditions affecting the function of the immune system, are unable to receive all the vaccines recommended in the immunisation schedule. Please speak to your health visitor, practice nurse or GP if you are concerned about whether your child is unable to receive all the vaccines on the immunisation schedule.